So I've changed uh, pumps for my original setup. I originally had a, uh, a float valve, so when the water got to a certain level, the pump would cut in, fill the tank up, cut out, and then it would drain and cut back in and out that way. But it's uh, dependent on the water level, very particular, and if there's any you know, evaporation, it stuffs it up. So I've gone to this, a constant pump, just pumps in here 24 hours a day, which uh, you know is so much easier to control. It's just straight in there. And then we use our auto siphon to do the actual draining and filling part for us. Really simple concept. Just water continually running in and an auto siphon to drain. All the water out, sucks the oxygen onto the roots of the plants, cuts out, water fills back up to give the nutrients to the plant. What more can you want? It's beautiful. Now, it looks a little bit complicated, but the theory of it is unbelievable. There's a drain pipe in there that comes up to the level that we want the water to drain to, or sorry, get to before it starts to drain. And then you put this auto siphon on and the water comes up, water comes up to a certain level. The drain pipe would be about that high. When the water starts coming over that and draining, it creates like a vacuum there and just starts sucking the water out. Because there's no air to break the vacuum, the water drains all the way out of this tank until it reaches the bottom of this little clear one here. And when the water drains down to there, that sucks some air up, which breaks the vacuum, and the tank starts filling up again. So this tank completely drains and fills up every 12 minutes with no mechanical parts at all, just this little auto slot. It's a fantastic idea. Well, here's our original aquaponics setup and it's going particularly well. It's been running now for about six weeks and it's just starting to come good really. Uh, the fish are growing unbelievably well, the plants are just coming good. They're a little bit yellow to start with because they didn't have the, the uh, nutrition. But everything's going particularly well. But there's a few issues with this one in that we want to expand and we don't really have the room here. So we're actually going to, it's going to be a lot of work, but we're going to move this one to a new location and expand it with two more grow beds, actually they'll be floating raft beds, so no gravel, I'll explain that later on, but uh, the purpose of this video is to show you this setup is going quite well, but now we're going to pull it apart and move it. So here's the start of the new system, we've come from the pool area into our, what used to be our barbecue area. You can see uh, this is going to be our new fish tank at the back there, that's a thousand litres as opposed to about 500-600 litres in the current one, it's got twice as much uh, capacity there for the fish. And similar setup here, what we're going to do is have a, a smaller sump down underneath here. This will become the gravel grow bed, similar to what you just saw with the broccoli and all that in it. And then the beauty of this system is we can now extend over this direction and we'll be putting in some floating raft systems where the plants just sit literally on a raft of polysorin and the roots go into water, nothing but water. And the nutrients from this grow bed that have gone, that have you know, assimilated from the bacteria and gone into the sump, gets pumped into that uh, floating raft system. And we think we're gonna have a really good little system here. Stay tuned. So it's a little bit later in the day, been a bit slower going than we thought. Here is uh, the arrangement we've come up with. Our fish tank will be here, sump, and we're going to have a grow bed there and two floating rafts here. And we've just got them out here ready to paint. Uh, we don't want the sun shining through the thin plastic, it creates a lot of uh, algae growth, so we're going to paint them right now. Yeah, just putting a little uh, primer on this uh, before we painted the plastic. I figure we better uh, prime it properly so it doesn't peel off. And of course we want to paint it so the light doesn't go through to the water and uh, create algal blooms. of energy here this afternoon we're putting the whole thing together and the whole working but the whole thing is really exciting our system is really coming together and looking good so we're about to move the fish uh, because we've got everything else set up so let's go catch a fish come on 
Celebratory drink uh, overlooking the aquaponic system here. It's come together really well, probably even better than I had anticipated actually. And we've got the big thousand litre tank here, it's cleared up beautifully, the fish are loving it, and I've uh, just fed them. You can probably see them coming to the top there, still finishing off that bit of food. There they go. We've got our uh, grow bed over here with the gravel in it. We had to move that from one spot to another, and the plants have done pretty well but they're still uh, still sort of recovering I guess from the move and then we've added these here two floating raft uh, grow beds we filled this one with lettuce down this end and some uh, baby spinach there because we had that handy and uh, we're really looking forward to filling out the rest of the system watching it grow cheers <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.